Welcome. Today we'll be looking at the Olight i3T2 EOS and diving deep into its features. We'll also look at a unique addition that's not just a flashlight, but a piece of art. Stay tuned to see why this light is causing such a buzz and discover the groundbreaking feature that puts the i3T2 EOS in a league of its own, challenging the boundaries of traditional AAA flashlights. My first Olight purchase was an i5R, so I never felt the need for a smaller AAA battery i3T. When Olight released the new i 3 T2 EOS and the gorgeous Dragon versus Phoenix Golden Black Edition added support for 10440 batteries. I had to buy one or two. I've always leaned towards more powerful options like the i5R, but the i3T2 EOS challenged everything I thought I knew about smaller flashlights. So let's take a look. Uh, the i3T2 uh, comes with a standard AAA alkaline battery. It has a maximum output of 963 candela and a maximum throw of 62 meters. It is IPX8 waterproof and has been drop tested to one and a half meters. The light weighs about one and a half ounces or 42 grams. It's three and a half inches or 89 millimeters long and has a diameter of 0.6 inches or 15 millimeters. Official 10440 support has been a big request from i3t users many users hot rotted their old i3ts to get the, the higher brightness but they also risk burning out the led or burning their hands after the alkalines and my lights die i, I will probably replace them with rechargeable uh, 10 440 cells so let's open up the package and see what we got so the light comes in the package So it'll come in the package and it'll also come with the manual. Um, you will have to, the first time you use the light is take off the uh, tail cap and there will be a, a piece of insulation plastic that you need to take out before you use the light. So the first thing I think you'll notice when you uh, open up the light is this new pocket clip. So the new pocket clip actually attaches between the tail cap and the flashlight body. It has a much deeper carry. Uh, if we compare it to this i5R, which has the same type of clip as the old i3T, uh, you'll see that it actually is removable and doesn't have nearly as deep of a carry um, as the new light does. So I was really glad to see this uh, change added to the light. I've actually lost several clips to my flashlights, including the one on my uh, 5T Plus. So it's good to see that it's actually attached now and won't come off. Uh, the performance metrics are substantially improved over the old i3T. We'll show, I think, how much better it is in some real world tests later on. The i3T has two brightness levels. Uh, you have a low, which is five lumens, uh, has a 10 meter throw and lasts for 21 hours. This is five hours longer than the previous i3T. High is 200 lumens, has a 62 meter throw, lasts for seven minutes at 200 lumens, and then it'll drop down to 100 lumens for another 28 minutes. This is 20 lumens brighter and 14 minutes longer than the previous version. Uh, with a uh, 10440 cell, the light's high jumps up to 300 lumens and will last 31% longer while keeping the temperature under a maximum of 45 degrees or 113 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll notice that the new i3T has a nice gradual brightness ramp when the light's activated on high mode. This is much more pleasing to the eye than the, uh, the previous uh, lights, which you see just have a, a straight. So that that ramp is actually uh, really nice to see. Uh, the new light can be programmed to start in high or in low now. So you see I have it starting in low. To switch the modes, you need to half press the light four times, then full press. 
you'll see that it jumps up when I hold it down to high there. So I turn it off, I wait uh, a couple of seconds, and you'll see now that the light starts at high. To switch it back, I will do the same process, half pressing four times, then full pressing. And you'll see that it switches down then to low. Wait another three seconds. And now the light will start in low. So if we look at the i5R and compare it to the i3T2 EOS, uh, the i5R has a high of 350 lumens. Uh, this runs for 10 minutes and then will drop down to 150 lumens for another 170 minutes. So that's comparing it to the 200 to 300 lumens uh, for the i3T2, uh, which again runs for seven minutes, then drops down to 50% power for another 28 minutes. You may get a little bit longer runtime if you're running 10 440s. And if we look at low, the i5R's low is 15 lumen and runs for 37 hours. Again, this is versus the i3T2's 5 lumen, which runs for 21 hours. Size-wise, difference is only a quarter of an inch or 7 millimeters uh, difference in length and 0.1 inches or 7 millimeters difference in uh, diameter. Uh, the i5R weighs 2.1 ounces or 60 grams versus the i3T2's 1.5 ounces or 42 grams. I think you would need to decide if the quarter inch in length and 0.1 inches in diameter and 6 ounces in weight savings uh, are a good trade-off for less brightness and less runtime. But that becomes a much different trade-off once you start running 10 440s. The i 3 t 2 ends up being much closer to the um, i5R. I have found several occasions where the trade-offs were worth it and the i3T2 EOS ended up in my bag. The math may work out differently for you, but having the option to choose is a nice luxury. Uh, tell me your thoughts in the comments. Before we head to the proving grounds, do you think you will be able to tell the difference between the i3T and the i5R? Okay, so let's jump to the proving grounds and let's see how the uh, lights perform in uh, real world conditions. It's a beautiful night in the testing grounds. The stars are out. Next, we're testing the i3T2 EOS. All right, this is its high. And this is its low setting. i5R high CRI, this is its low setting, and this is its high setting. As you saw, the differences aren't as significant in the real world and would have been much closer if I had been running uh, 10 440 cells. Then there's the beautiful Dragon versus Phoenix Golden Black edition of the light. If we open this up. And take a look at this gorgeous light. Uh, the gold really pops on this light. And if I run my fingers uh, over it, I can feel that the design is actually embossed into the aluminum. So we look at that light. It is gorgeous. I'm not sure how Olight got the design in there, but it is definitely a, a pretty light, and I'm glad to have it in my uh, collection. The i3T2 also comes in a sweet pink version, which would make a great gift for Valentine's Day. So after seeing the uh, Dragon vs. Phoenix edition, do you think aesthetics are as important as functionality? Uh, drop your comments below. Um, so in... Conclusion, I would say the new lights 10 440 handling, you know, boosts its brightness by 50%, also has longer run times. Uh, these efficiency improvements are definitely noticeable and welcomed. It definitely closes the gap between the, uh, the i5R and adds a lot of flexibility uh, to this light. If you're looking for titanium or carbon fiber versions, the old i3T is still your only option. Uh, but knowing Olight, I expect those to make it to the new i3T2 in the coming months. 
If you need over 300 lumens, longer run times, or high CRI versions, uh, the i5R is the better choice with the trade-offs of the additional size and weight. The i3T2 EOS is hard to beat uh, for $20. It's the same price as most of the older i3T models. There are a few of the older models that have been discounted by a few dollars. I highly recommend the i3T2 EOS. I think you'll find a, uh, a good spot for it in your EDC. Give you lots of options for uh, what to carry. So which version would you choose? Can't wait to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell to get more EDC reviews and commentary. It also helps a, a small channel like mine. If you'd like to learn more about the Olight O-Clip, you can watch this video here.